Hi, and welcome to Texi Tutorials. Uh, today we are going to look at a very interesting function expression in JavaScript. What is IIFE? Some people call it self-executing anonymous function. Some people call it self-invoked anonymous function. Some people call it immediately invoked function expression. They are all the same. We will look at what it is and how to use it uh, with some code examples. First, let's look at what is function expression is in JavaScript. Um, this is usually how you would write functions in pretty much any, any language. But in JavaScript, you can do something like this. And you can use it or execute or invoke it, whatever you call it, uh, by calling like this. Just like, you know, you would call a normal function. This is called function expression. Now let's look at what immediately invoked really means. Usually, you would define your function like this and you can invoke it at some later stage like this. And I can, you know, I can have some other code here and I can call it again here. I can use this function again. There are times when you want to execute the function right away as soon as you define it. And, and you're not gonna call it again. Um, why would you do it? We'll look at it later, but let's first focus on if you, if you have to define it and execute it in the same sentence, how would you do it? If you're not gonna use it again, if you're not gonna invoke it again, then you don't need these two statements where you define it and, and, and invoke it. You can invoke it by simply removing and then do this. It would immediately invoke it. You can pass an argument here. So I can pass, uh, let's say, J here. We'll look at the use for it later on. But first, I want you to understand how to write the syntax. This function would be immediately invoked. and the argument I'm passing j is passes an i inside here. It's also an anonymous function because there is no name. Unlike increment here, there is no name for this function. That's why it's, it's an anonymous function. There is also another way of writing this. If I can put this around it, brackets around this function like this, this is exactly the same thing as, as this. It is another way of writing. I personally prefer the first, first method. If you're not returning any value back, you can also do this. You can put your code here. This also is the same thing. There are also other ways to do it. I'm gonna show you all the way, so just in case, you know, whichever, you can put a tilde instead of explanation. You can also put a dash. You can also put plus sign. They're all valid syntax. Now that we know how to write it, let's look at where to use it and how you use it. Uh, one of the user, usage is uh, minifying. I'm sure you probably used uh, jQuery in your lifetime. And um, here is a good example of how to minify. Let's say you, you're importing a library, jQuery. You would have an object called window.jQuery. But you can actually minify this to a dollar sign using this uh, immediately invoked function. If you look at even if you look at the uh, the entire jQuery library itself, it's inside uh, immediately invoked function expression. So here I'm passing window.jQuery and inside I can use this as a, as, a, as a dollar variable. It's really cool. This is also reducing my scope lookup. Whenever you have a, a global variable um, and you're trying to use it, dollar sign is only available within within this function. So it's not gonna go out and look for windows.jQuery. So 
your J your, your code is a bit faster. This way, it takes a global object, which is windows.jQuery, and makes it a local for this particular function. IFEs are closure that helps you establish private methods while still exposing, exposing some properties for later use. Right, so here is a, a simple example of creating your own JavaScript library. <clears throat> This is a very simple library. You would never write a library like this. Here is a immediately invoked function function expression. Um, it it executes it right away, and then whatever it returns, it copied into uh, this variable called counter. Inside this function, there is a private variable which is i equal to zero, um, and it's returning. Uh, this object with with three methods. Um, these are also private. The first method is get. It just simply returns i. The second is second method set. Uh, if you pass a variable, it sets um, i equal to that variable. And then third method, it just simply increment the um, i by one. So this is also a closure, which means because it's a, it's, a, it's a private variable, it's not exposed outside. If I try to use, if I try to use variable i outside, I would not be able to. So it gives you this, and it's not polluting the, the, the global space. And all three functions are only available using counter dot. So if I do get get here, it would it would not be available because it's a closure. It also holds this variable inside, so it's persisting the variable inside. Um, I'm not. I have another tutorial on closure. You can look at it. Uh, I'll provide a link here. But if you if you execute this function, it would give you uh, the first one. The first statement would give you zero because i is zero initially then you can set it to five and then i becomes five and when you increment it it becomes six and you can actually get the value out by using this so this is a simple example how to write a javascript library uh, using uh, immediately invoked function expression i hope you learned something from uh, this tutorial and if you did then feel free to like the tutorial and subscribe the channel so you can enjoy the future tutorials thank you and also let me know if you have any questions uh, using comment section